what it is, what it do, cyber world, it is your girl, the one and only Ash said it, Ash said it.com, Ash said it.com. Welcome back to the Ash said it daily podcast show. We appreciate all the love, all the support, you guys. Yes, we're on the heels of half a million streams worldwide. Wouldn't be possible without your love, without your support, all the shares, everything makes a huge, huge difference. Today, I'm joined by the owner of Post Stray Caramel, Joe Scott. Joe, how's it going? It's going great, Ash. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for having me on the program. Ah, no problem. Joe, let our audience know where are you from? Where do you represent? Uh, we, we're we're based in Asheville, North Carolina. All we do is make uh, caramels. I mean, I personally grew up in Little Rock, Arkansas. My wife grew up in Southern California. We've kind of been all over the place because we both uh, cooked for a living since we've known each other. Um, but we but we are happily based in in Asheville right now and, and love doing what we're doing. It's a great place to live and love being back in the South. So, how did this company start? Well, we moved uh, back to Asheville. We were in the Pacific Northwest, and we actually moved for not not the happiest of reasons. My father was was ill with Alzheimer's, and so we wanted to be back uh, closer to where my parents lived and my sister as well, uh, so that we could uh, just be closer to him. And that hopefully that's not too depressing for anybody, but you know, life happens. Yeah, and. and uh, we wanted to. We knew what the end game was there. We wanted to enjoy his last few years closer to him. And uh, since we were in the food business, we owned a restaurant actually at that, at that time in Washington State, and uh, decided, uh, you know, we had the power to sell that and be closer and do still be in the food business and, and still do what we love to do, just in a different way. Uh, so we, we made the change and uh, sold our restaurant, sold our house, and uh, and did the huge move across the country and. Uh, we had heard great things about Asheville and visited, and, and uh, it just seemed like a perfect place to, to start up. It's great. the great culture in this town, for uh, especially for small business and startups. And uh, so we just decided uh, to, to make the move and, and to uh, start making my wife's caramel. She's the pastry chef uh, and always was in our restaurant. And uh, we knew we didn't want a restaurant again. We wanted to have a family and wanted a little bit more normal hours. Yeah. Uh, so we, we decided to do that, and that's that's kind of really how we, how we launched it here in Nashville. Okay. So what makes your caramels different from the rest? Uh, you know, to me, made with love by hand uh, mm-hmm. by us and made with the best best possible ingredient that we can find. So, you know, there, there isn't any corn syrup. There isn't any, uh, you know, cream or butter that has weird preservatives or things in it. It's, mm-hmm. We use organic uh, cane sugar. We use organic cream and butter. Um, so we use the best ingredients that we can possibly find. Um, and then we don't really manipulate them too much. We just uh, are consistently make uh, what I consider to be the best product we possibly can um, uh, and, and, and get out there and sell them. So, I, you know, it's it's, uh, it's it's just it's just good taking care of them all made simply. And I get, get comments all the time from people when I'm out at, at a tailgate market or something. <laughs> Uh, you know, and they're like, gosh, that's really good caramel, or they don't like caramel, and then they have it, and they're like, oh, no, but I like that. <laughs> uh, so I think, I think they just haven't had good caramel, and it's, we're, a, you know, we're a, our culture is, is dominated by, by big producers, and, and the only way they can be that big and produce that big is to, is to take what I would consider to be shortcuts, mm. um, that, that, you know, get a product out there in, in enormous quantities, um, but, it, but it, you sacrifice, it's never what you sacrifice, yeah. taste and quality. Um, when you do that, and so I think people kind of get get kind of colored by that rather than uh, having the, you know the real deal. Um, yeah. and that's what we try to do. Okay. And as you were beginning this new venture in the food business, what were some of the setbacks that you faced? Oh goodness! The, how much time do we have? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got enough time. Um, <laughs> you know, it's we actually had a we had a great uh, Department of Agriculture inspector who, who walked us through uh, pretty much everything. Um, but you know, for us, some of them is, is branding. You know, creating a whole new brand. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, sourcing of ingredients. When you're small, uh, you know, nobody really wants to deal with you because you're dealing with bigger distributors. No, oh, they want they want a two thousand dollar minimum or something. You know, for delivery. Or, um, so you have to you have to be. Uh, you, have, you have to be quick on your feet and think, um, you know, a little more than others because you, you, you're you not going to be, uh, you know, attractive to a bigger company in terms of, you know, they want to sell product to you. So you really have to kind of, uh, I think, kind of dig and fight to kind of scrape out uh, that, that existence and be able to find what you, what you you know, what you really need to do to do the job you want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, sourcing ingredients, building the brand, um, and then just, processes and, and, and getting all that in place, um, you 
know, all the packaging, all the, the requirements for nutritional analysis, all, the, all those types of things. It just takes time. Um, you know, and you have to, you just kind of got to make a checklist for yourself and keep checking things off, and then you, you just work hard to get it to market. But, of course, you know, you're spending money all that time, and you're not mm-hmm. selling anything yet, and you're not. Um, so it just, it, you know, it, it, it takes time. You have to have enough capital, um, and that's part of, probably one of the things I think one of the biggest failures people have is they, they don't have it. They're not, they're not capitalized enough initially, mm-hmm. um, and then they kind of end up going into bad debt early on, and they can't really get out of it because their sales just don't don't keep up with that yet. Right. Um, so, it, so you know, we, we learned some things with our restaurant, but then we, you know, we certainly made our share of mistakes uh, with this because it's just a whole new, uh, it's a whole new business for us. But like I said, building a brand from the ground up, um, you know, has its its challenges. Um, but I, you know, if you don't put yourself out there and do something new. Uh, then, then how do you grow? You know, how do you uh, you become even even better in your field? Um, mm-hmm. That's how you do it by by uh, changing things up. That's yeah. for sure. Absolutely. All right, Joe. So we're going to take a brief break. When we come back, we're going to talk about some of these varieties and some of these best sellers that you guys have over there at Post Trade Caramels. You guys, hang tight. Great. Looking forward to it. Isn't it crazy how much we pay for new brand name clothes? Stop driving store to store and sifting through dozens of racks. Shop millions of clothes in seconds on Swap.com. Swap.com is the world's largest online consignment and thrift store. With Swap.com, you can shop up to 90% off retail price on your favorite brands like Lululemon, Carter's, Nike, J. Crew, and Gap. Between six to 10,000 new items are added daily. If something doesn't fit, enjoy hassle-free returns within 30 days, no question. So what are you waiting for? Shop Swap.com and use promo code ASHDAILY40 for your 40% off today. Welcome back to the Ash City Daily Podcast Show. It's your girl, Ash Brown. I'm talking with owner, CEO, Joe Scott of Post Stray Caramels. Joe, uh, we're, we're, we're talking some good stuff. We're talking some good positive vibes, some good energy. So now let's get to the thing that everyone wants to know about, Joe. It's the holiday season. We got the new year that's coming up about. What are some of your best sellers right now? You know, we, we, we sell an awful lot of gift boxes right now. We can do those in a lot of different ways. But the our caramel sauce in, we put, uh, you know, a whole mix of flavors of our caramel chews. Mm. Uh, and then it just makes it easy for people. Um, you know, we, we the, the, the packaging is all is all done. Um, so it's, you know, let's face it, I mean, who doesn't love to be given uh, some caramel? Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, you know, it really kind of depends on what you want. I mean, our, our top seller is definitely our, our sea salt caramel chews. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's kind of just your basic standard flavor. And it's kind of, I'm almost sorry that sea salt become kind of such a fad uh, and kind of seems like a fad word and like everything from like ice cream to yogurt to like whatever. It seems like everything has a sea salt caramel um, kind of thing to it. But, uh, but I think one of the things we do that kind of sets ours apart differently is we use a very fine sea salt. So we blend it in. And so really every bite of that caramel gets the perfect amount of salt. Mm. The caramel is sweet. It's very sweet. It's it's, it's uh, cloying if you don't uh, have something to balance it and cut. That's uh, that sweetness, and that's what we use the salt uh, for in, in that recipe. So that's that's pretty much number one. Um, you know, my personal favorite is our sourwood honey caramel chews. Mm. Um, and so we use uh, honey from uh, sourwood uh, tree uh, native to North Carolina. Um, and so it, it gets kind of a unique uh, honeyness to it. It's still cane sugar caramel, um, but we mm. fold honey into it uh, and a little bit of vanilla, and that one gets kind of just a little bit of unique uh, kind of honey finish to it. Um, but it really, you know, we kind of have a little something for everybody. We have a chocolate caramel. Um, again, we have our caramel sauce, which is like the perfect dessert topping. So it's, it is, it's the time of year where pretty much everything you're doing can benefit from caramel. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so that that's good. That sounded real tasty. And I like the variety packs. And like you said, the gift packs is, you know, with those, you can get different varieties. You can try this one, that one. And you can get a little, a well-rounded idea of of the brand. So that that's good. I like that. Yeah, that's what you got to do, for sure. <laughs> All right, last but certainly not least, Joe. What advice would you offer to any person today that has an idea and they don't know how to go about executing it? Good question. I would say get uh, make contact and get involved in, in the entrepreneurial uh, community in your town, um, and and there will be one almost certainly, and definitely in you know, a city like Atlanta um, yeah. with that with those kinds of resources and scale. Um, but 
you know, first of all, there, I mean, you know, in our case, is a food business, so you, you need to get involved and, and work with the authorities that are going to regulate you and, and make sure you do that. But just in a general sense, get involved with people who have, have done it before. They've made the mistakes. They've done all that groundwork. Um, right. And there's still going to be plenty of that to do. But, but uh, and it, you know, to me, the smartest thing is, is, is to talk to people who've done it and learn from their mistakes. Right. And, uh, I, you know, our experience in, when in movie Nashville is, talking to people that, have, that were multiple years ahead of us is that they're more than willing to share um, more than you would ever expect um, them to share because people want, people want you to succeed and definitely in that community. Um, and it, it's a win-win for the community. You know, it's like, I mean, yeah. it, 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 it builds small businesses in town. Those then are become opportunities for investors uh, to grow those businesses, to bring great jobs uh, to, to the uh, community that you're in. So there are a ton of people out there that want you to succeed um, and have uh, really, really great uh, feedback, insight, expertise, um, and they will share it. Um, so it's just a matter of getting to know those people and getting them excited about what you're doing. Um, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's a ready-made community, so, so go out there, get to know them, become part of it, um, and, and who knows, you, you will, uh, you know, you, you probably already have a great idea, but it will be made better. Um, by talking to, to other people, and it's, it's just going to make uh, your launch and your business that much more successful, in my, in my opinion. Yes, so. absolutely. Joe Scott, Joe, thank you so much for joining me today on the program. We appreciate pleasure, you, you so very much. Yeah. Let everyone know where they can go to go and purchase those gift sets. It may be a little bit you know, cutting it close for Christmas, but it's definitely a fun <laughs> yeah, New Year's. Yeah, yeah I, I, I probably can't. Sh- I, I probably can't ship the in time uh, yeah. at this point because you know it's kind of like Armageddon of shipping uh, <laughs> this time of year. But um, you know, we we you will find us throughout um, the Southeast. I mean, online our online store www.posteraycaramel.com is probably the best place uh, to be perfect honest. We don't have a huge presence in Atlanta, but that is a market we want to. Uh, move into more. Uh, the Peach Dish online store has quite a few of our uh, products, um, and and uh, if they don't have it, ask them to get it, and I bet they will, mm-hmm. um, if that's where you like to do your shopping, because you're buying meal kits from them. Um, you know, so, uh, but yeah, our online store, um, we are in uh, quite a few Whole Foods, um, not in Atlanta yet, but, uh, but you know, it's also another one of those things where go into your Whole Foods and tell them you want it, because um, mm-hmm. they can find us in the system. Um, and they can get it if, if you want it badly enough. So uh, the consumer kind of rules the roost. And if they, if they uh, you know, tell tell people that they like to buy from what they're looking for, you know, a lot of times those people will go out and, and get it. So yeah. It's a work in progress. And, you know, now you have an extra Atlantic Connect, you know, brand <laughs> ambassador. Who knows? You, you know, we want some things it. out. I'm, I'm, <laughs> really, I'm glad, I'm glad you, you found out about that. It's been uh, an awful lot of fun. Uh, to talk with you and uh, yes. share, share a little bit of our story. Definitely. Thank you so much, Joe. And thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for the downloads, the loves, the shares. Everything makes a difference. 2018 is going to be a phenomenal year, really big year. Cannot wait. Here, Keep here. in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face and tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the history books. Social media is nice. It's cool. It's fun. But real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.